Hey guys, I'm Dane, and today I'm taking a look at the UTS-15 pump action shotgun. And as you all should know by now, all shotguns got a huge buff and rework in the spring patch, so now they work. Going over the general changes real quick, damage per pellet has been reduced, but the amount of pellets in each round have been increased to make a more consistent and even spread within the crosshair circle, and of course increase the effective range of a shotgun. Taking a look at the stats from Simthic.com, and we are focusing on the buckshot round, because this is the most common one you'll see. You see that the UTS-15 has got a 85 rounds per minute, which is the second lowest out of all of the shotguns. It's got a muzzle velocity of 300 meters per second if you use the buckshot rounds. It does 11.2 damage per pellet up to 25 meters, and drops off to 5.6 damage per pellet at 50 meters. Here's the thing, the UTS-15 shoots 20 pellets per round with the buckshot and the flechette rounds. So 20 pellets with 11.2 damage with the buckshot up close and you get 224 damage within 25 meters, if all the pellets hits. Effectively making this shotgun the second highest damage per round shotgun there is, only bested by the Hawk 12 gauge, which shoots 21 pellets. And not only that, the magazine size of the UTS-15 is 15 rounds, which is also the biggest out of all of the shotguns. And since you chamber each round individually, it only takes 0.8 seconds for you to have another round in the magazine or chamber if you will, effectively allowing you to keep on the move constantly if you time your reloads right. Then you'll never run out of ammo and you can just keep on plowing through enemies. The recall pattern is, well, 2.5 vertical pull and a 0.5 left and right horizontal pull with a first shot multiplier at 1. It's not really that difficult to control and as you'd imagine a shotgun isn't exactly for sniping at long range, but more for close quarter combat and ever since the patch it even does well at medium range, as in real life. The aiming down sight accuracy isn't as good as the other pump action shotguns, but the hip fire is the best out of all of the other shotguns, and even the moving aiming down sight and hip fire accuracy is better than the other shotguns, which makes it effective at running and gunning, staying on the move while dodging and weaving to get your kills easily. The way I use this weapon, and the best way I can recommend you to use it is with the buckshot round. A full choke to focus your spread even further and a laser sight for increased hipfire accuracy, just to play with all of the th positive things that the shotgun has got going for it already. If you're not as precise with your shots, a modified choke might be a better way to go for barrel attachment, as it tightens the spread a bit but not as much as the full choke. And this way it's more forgiven if you aren't precise with your shots, whereas the full choke will bite your hand if you aren't accurate. As you've seen throughout the gameplay for this video, I did a lot of dodging and weaving from side to side while also crouching and standing in some sort of weird combo, just to confuse the aim of enemy players and allowing me to survive if I miss a shot or two, and this saved my ass a lot of times, especially against enemy shotgun players. So when in close quarters, I recommend you to get comfortable with dodging and weaving all over the place if you don't get the drop on your enemies, or you miss a shot or two. This way you'll end out the victor of the match if done correctly, and the enemy player well isn't good at predicting your movement. And as said earlier, this shotgun has got great moving accuracy, while a big magazine with a big damage per round capacity and some round management on the go with the nifty one round chambering feature, you will be able to do some amazing killstreaks while on the go and never stopping, especially when you become familiar with the dodge and weave technique that well I've used throughout my time with this shotgun. Before this patch, I nearly, well, honestly, I never used the shotguns beyond the point of unlocking all of the shotguns just for the sake of having them, and I only stumbled upon the UTS-15 while streaming the other day, where I immediately obtained a killstreak of 8 without too much effort. Now though, the shotguns work, and they work really well and feel reliable, just as back in Battlefield 3. But I still think that the semi-auto shotguns like the Deo 12 and the DBV 12 and etc. shouldn't do a one-shot kill up close. They've got more than double the RPM of the pump action shotguns, so they have a higher damage per second output. No need for them to also do a one-shot kill up close, if we look at it with a weapon balance in mind, of course. So I'd say semi-auto shotguns should be a two-shot kill up close, because They've got high RPM, while the pump action shotguns do a one-shot kill up close, but got a low RPM. Besides this fact, 
and the fact that maybe shotguns are a bit OP, well, they dominate CQB at the moment, but that's mainly the semi-auto shotguns. This might be fixed if you increase the bullets to kill to two rounds instead of one. And this might fix the problem that we're currently having about people whining a lot in the close quarters scenarios because a lot of people are using the Deo 12 and DBV 12 because they do a one shot kill up close and they are semi auto. And that's about it for this time guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below of the new mechanics for the shotguns. Is it too OP and what could or should be changed to them? Or do you agree with me that the main problem and the main thing people complain about is in fact only the semi auto shotguns because they do too much damage per round? As said, leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions of the new shotgun mechanics, I'd really like to know. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like this video if you liked it, share it with your friends and subscribe for more and future content on my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh my god.